Hey guys, Ted from Nerdarchy here. Four nerds by nerds, hanging out with these nerds. I'm Nate. I'm Nerdarchy's Dave. I'm Nerdarchy's Ryan. And today we're going to uh, start a new series called uh, New Shred or Convert. And we're going we're gonna to take a look at a particular RPG mm -hmm. and uh, decide whether we each think it should be, you know, put out a new version, have, have it just shredded, or convert it to a different set of mechanics. Yes, if given... You know, ultimate editorial power over yeah. the. Uh, and, and which one the... are we going to start with? And today we're going to do Palladium. But Palladium. before we do, down in the uh, description below, you can find a link to our newsletter. Sign up for weekly tips, uh, as well as learn how to game with Nerdarchy. I feel like we'd get more subscribers to it if there was weekly tits. <laughs> like, you know, the internet was made for porn, so there is that. There's plenty of so, that yeah. elsewhere. They can get yeah. that stuff elsewhere. Yeah, so, yeah. you gotta go somewhere else. Sorry, guys. Different so, newsletter. So, Sizing Pal out, guys and girls. Palladium offers a you know a vast uh, army or vast array of books. They pretty much cover all the genres. Yeah, they got they got everything out there. Uh, m most notable uh, from from my gaming history is you know riffs. And the the Ninja Turtles, super you, spies and ninjas. You would you would say that they have the license for Robotech as well. Yeah. Yep. Um, you know, so Heroes Unlimited. Heroes Unlimited. So, so they really do run the gambit. Yeah. And there is a lot of die core, core die hard, hardcore fans to the Palladium system. Die core. Die core. Yeah. Unfortunately, we are not those. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I find the mechanics have a lot to be left to desire, and it's very. Everything seems very arbitrary. It's like the, the range of characters you have, it's like you roll a natural 1 or a natural 20. Like, you, there's not a lot yeah. in between. Like, you either get amazingly unbalanced uh, capabilities or you're like the pool boy. <laughs> so, so, so you, you, do, mean, you not only have that, that differences in um, you know, character possibilities, but once the campaign also starts, you're also back to a more second edition D&D like level chart where this guy takes this amount of XP to gain a level, whereas this one takes you know well, this, I mean, this other amount. You know that stuff was launched back in the eighties, and right. so it's like the height of TSR and and, right. and the granddad. Yeah, it's par for course for. Uh, yeah, for what it was. Yeah. So there there is not a a balanced factor, you know, th therein. Um, and well, it would almost be fair if the characters that got the godlike ability starting out, if they had a slower progression, because it took more for them to fuel up, versus like the characters that had the crap abilities, if they level quicker, then that creates. Oh, there's there, there is actually still different progression levels. Yeah, yeah, that, that's what that's what yeah. we're just saying. Oh, yeah. yeah. uh, now, now, yes, absolutely. Those but they're kind of like arbitrary as to yeah. who gets yeah. what. Well, yeah. that, I mean, what Ryan is saying that actually is there. You know, the the person who's going to play. Well, I'm I'm the. The, the college student who's just there to you know collect lore um, definitely gains levels a lot faster than say the glitter boy who's got this you know super mecha weapon right from day one. Yeah. Um, you know, now the other thing and the shiny uh, and and the shiny hence the name glitter might even glitter. Mm -hmm. um, now the the His, thing this name the the character's name is Twilight. <laughs> the the, thing, the vampires. Yeah, the yeah. thing the thing about Palladium is you could also do that. You know, the, the characters are supposed to be designed as a more, you know, fleshed out character that there will be advancement, but you're supposed to have what your character is at creation as opposed to, say, like D&D, &D, where you're playing an adventurer who has got this lofty goal and you will be, you know, you know so far removed from where you start that it, it's ridiculous. So I find that the toughest, toughest part about Palladium for the our concept of... Uh, shred convert or um, or new or no it, the, the toughest part is Palladium actually covers so much ground and it's all it's almost like they're you'd have their to own choose game. one yeah in, in between like obviously there's some properties like Robotech and Mutant Ninja Turtles I, I wouldn't want to see them shred it uh, I don't know I don't know that that game system is able to uh, be come out with a new edition that's going to be not be based off what it is because it seems like even when they update their edition you go too far afield it, it's, it's still, not that game anymore no no point. it's not that it's just like the, the game design and philosophy behind that company is which is going to be the, it, this is what it is like he may revise things but it's still at its core the same thing. You still have a percentile role to determine whether you're going to have the, the character that starts with 700 credits or 100,000 credits. Yeah. Now, like, like, I don't think that's going to change with a new version. Like, 
I think it needs to be converted. Just, they need to be just converted into different games. If mm-hmm. if the difference was the difference between fourth edition for Dungeons and Dragons and fifth edition for Dungeons and Dragons, then I think a lot could happen. You know, like you well, see, I mean, that fi- was a big difference. Fifth edition is like the remix of of the Dungeons and Dragons editions, where there's like some minor you, minor you got, keys of fourth, and then it's a lot of second and third. Well, I, I think the you know there's a big change between you know for D and D second and third and third and fourth. Um, well, yeah. I don't want to get into the D&D conversation, D&D conversation, but I'm saying it, it's possible, I, but that might just have a whole bunch of people drop off. Well, you, you know it would be the difference between 2nd edition and 3rd edition, really. Like, because 3rd was a major schism point. No, um, that's a good point. So it would be, like, that level of radically... Like, you streamlined the rolling process to, so like, you know, when you had uh, Thaco <laughs> and, and different, like, saving throws of, oh, I need to roll under this number now, but generally I want to roll high. So, like, you know, whereas, like, 3rd edition streamlined it to where, you know, you always roll high as D20. Better. Yeah. But, but I, um, I would see it as the benefit would be that I might actually get to play a Psy Stalker in a game system that I actually want to play in <laughs> instead of not wanting to touch this stuff. So, right. I, I mean, Rifts, I think Rifts, it's like so robust and the stuff that goes on in Rifts just by itself, if you exclude everything else, that I would definitely want to see it either convert it or some kind of rule system that's a bit that's a bit more balanced. Like Fate. So, yeah. like, you don't feel like just revising the edition, like a new edition of that game isn't going to make it better. You want to see it. You more see of the new... same, I would not say, would make it better. You, you want a whole new set of mechanics. Take, I, yeah. take the lore, take what's there, and play that in a different different set of mechanics. Yeah, exactly. I'm not volunteering for that job. I'm just saying that... <laughs> All right. That, I'm, uh, I'm in the, I would like to see that. I'm in the same boat as Nate. I, I've, I've never really loved Palladium. If somebody's going to gonna play a game and they're running Palladium and I like the concept of the game, I'll play because the mechanics are, you know, only part of it. So I'll be I'd be on board, but you know for this I would say absolutely let let's convert it to another set of mechanics and take the the lore the concepts you know for a game and and dump it in. Yeah, and and I'm of the convert mind just because it is so expensive. Like if we pe- picked Heroes Unlimited, like I know nothing about the lore of that, uh-huh. and like since for my ignorance of it, like there you know maybe there's some really cool concepts, but basically I'm just gonna want to play a superheroes game and we can figure out what that is. However, right. so like I would be fine for shredding it and just going and play Mutants and Masterminds because uh-huh. it accomplishes the same thing. Right. Um, so convert for the fact that you know you have your rifts in there and Ninja Turtles. Come on, so, <laughs> you gotta bring yeah. the Ninja Turtles. Hey, Playdium gets a big convert because, the, you know, there are a couple of things I'd be like shred, you know, or whatever. But for the most part, most of those games I would just rather play in Mutants and Masterminds. It's yeah. you know to me it, it just it, it flows better and it's more the game balance is there. And that's always been my issue with the Palladium system is the game balance is so wonky, and and it's so random. You know, even even early on playing Dungeons and Dragons was never as random as playing in a Palladium game. I agree. Right. Let's say something. Yeah, like <laughs> you never want to be the person to show up to the to the gaming table and you have literally the worst character at the table and it's, like it's, like your your struggle in the game isn't doing something heroic; it's not dying, <laughs> and that's not a fun RPG. When your when your base baseline struggle is to keep your character alive, it's like the worst of '80s gaming. Yeah, all wrapped in the one nice neat package, in my opinion. <laughs> all but right, the so, question uh, is. So what do you, what do you guys think think out there? Palladium, the whole the whole package. Does it need a new version? Should it be converted to another set, set of mechanics? Shred that bitch. Or should you just put that thing in the paper shredder? So uh, let us know in the comments below why you're at it. Like, share, even subscribe. You can check out the articles over at nerdarchy.com. Uh, you can hang out with us over on Facebook. And you can patronize us in a good way over on patreon.com. So until next time, stay, stay nerdy. nerdy.